Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is my 28 week bump date. I am 28 weeks pregnant with a baby number two, little baby Nolan, and the last two weeks have been filled with so many new updates. So I have got my list right here and I'm just gonna jump right into what has been happening. We went and saw, well, Liam and I went and saw, my husband had to work unfortunately. So we went and saw baby Nolan again. We got an ultrasound. Um, about two weeks ago, right after my 26 week um, update. And we got an ultrasound to see if my placenta was in the right spot and we are good to go with my placenta. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I had marginal placenta previa and that was diagnosed like really early on and so they've been keeping track of my placenta so that I know to take it easy or if I'm okay and everything is good to go now. So he is a big, healthy boy. He was measuring at three pounds. They didn't give me like the length, but my app says he's about the size of a large eggplant. So I'm um, sorry if you can hear sirens because there's something going on crazy around here. And my dog is probably huffing and puffing in the background because it is so hot here. So what I was saying, uh, the fire engine goes by, um, is that he is measuring three pounds already. That was two weeks ago. I have no idea how big he is now. I think I've mentioned that he just feels really big. Well, they pretty much confirmed that he loves to eat. He, they said he had a really big belly when they did the ultrasound, nothing too alarming, but that just means that he's gotta like kinda even out. Sometimes their head's really big, sometimes their belly's big. Everything's just got to even out. So he is going to be a very large boy if he keeps going with this growth. But he's also measuring about two weeks early, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and that's totally normal, I guess, for my kids because Liam came three weeks early and was measuring about three weeks early the entire time. So he's just gotta keep up with his big brother, I guess. They also figured out that he is in the breech position. Now he's got plenty of time to move and I really hope he does because we were worrying about my placenta and now we gotta worry about a butt first baby. Um, it was just, I guess, where he was at that moment. He is so active, like right now he just kicked my hand. He is so active and it's constant. I can now see body parts. Um, he will go like this and I can see his little elbow, like the little ball of his elbow. I can um, actually see like the outline of his arm or a leg. I'm not exactly sure what each body part is, but I am starting to see them through the skin when he goes really crazy. I mean, I will sit there and just be like, ow, ow, and like he is everywhere and just hurting and then I'll look down and there'll be like a little ball on one side and it's almost flat on the other side because his little tush, he's sticking his little butt up. Um, Liam did that too, but it's so much more obvious with this one. And um, I'm, he's like doing downward facing dog and little stink bugs and stuff in there. It's really cute, but it's also very painful. Um, so he just, it's constant. Everyone has felt him. Everyone can see him move. You can just watch my belly. It is the most insane thing. You feel like an alien is gonna bust out of your body. But that's a good sign that he is so active. He is good and healthy. And he's making me big. Um, I'm swelling, as you can see. You can actually see my wedding ring. Tan line, no more wedding rings. Um, I woke up one night and my fingers, they just were tight feeling, they were hurting. Even my toes feel tight. It probably has a lot to do with it being so hot here in Southern California, but pregnant things swell. Um, I'm not looking forward to the swelling of the face. And I mean, my lips feel a little bit fuller, but I have big juicy lips to begin with. So yeah, no more rings, which is sad, but better safe than sorry. They are nice and safe in my jewelry box instead of being cut off. So um, I have gained a total probably around 20 pounds now. I went, when I went to my last doctor, I stepped on the scale and I was like, 
oh my god now the pounds are packing on i said at the beginning wasn't getting too much now they're just like boom here you go there's the pregnancy weight so roughly about 20 pounds have a feeling i'm just gonna kind of keep putting it on um i can be more active now but it's so hot outside that i just don't want to it's just it hits about 80 outside and I just want to be done. Um, and it gets up to close to the hundreds and it's just July. So, well, it's coming into August. It's just gonna get hotter. But yeah, I'm drinking constantly, drinking tons and tons of water to try to help with the water weight. And I'm just dealing with the heat the best I can. I have found more skin pigmentation. Once again, I have makeup on. I don't know if you guys can see, but like that spot right there. Um, yeah, that's not normal for me. I don't know if you guys, like right there. Um, I'm getting it also around my lips where it almost looks like I have lip liner. Yeah, that's not normal for me. Um, I find it mostly like here. It just looks like I have like dark circles under my eyes, which very possible I don't get too much sleep but it's just like hyperpigmentation with this pregnancy majorly um, stretch marks I have found that my stretch marks that I have on my hips are a little bit more prominent right now they're I don't know if they're really growing or getting new ones but they are noticeable um, on my belly I can't notice anything and I'm hoping that it's good I'm slathering everything up but stretch marks are gonna happen they're gonna happen no matter what I do my belly button ring has been out for a long time and it's starting to get like that irritated redness um, because it's stretching so I have a feeling that's gonna be more stretched um, I also have no belly button anymore it is almost completely flat every time Liam looks at my stomach he goes "Uh oh uh oh and he points to it I'm like yeah uh oh mommy's belly button is just completely flat um, I also have a feeling that my muscles, I can't remember the name, so I'm not even going to try. I know it starts with a D, but um, like my muscles, I believe, are separated now. They weren't with Liam. Like I definitely could tell that they were still together, but now right around my belly button and down, it just feels separated. Like I can see him move and he pushes my belly button out and I can just feel a separation. So like every time I talk, he just kicks, he kicks right where I'm talking about. Whew. a little fuzzy um so i'm gonna have to work really hard to try to get those back together um it's not painful right now it's just i can tell i'm like oh that's gonna be hard once he's out but comes with the joys of pregnancy i did my glucose test a few days ago and i don't know the results yet i won't know until i go back in i think a week or so to in a week maybe in a week um, so I'll have those results when I update you guys next, but everything went fine with it. Um, the drink was no big deal. It was actually better this time than it was with Liam. I had like an orange flavor this time and lime flavor last time. So orange was much better. Pick the orange one if you are doing glucose test. Um, I hope that went okay. I really, really don't want to do the three hour one. That will not be fun and having to find someone to watch my crazy, crazy Liam. Um, but We'll see what happens with that. Pregnancy brain is in full force because when I went for my glucose test, I made an appointment online because I have to go to a lab. And I, so I made this appointment, show up, and they say, oh, we don't have an appointment for you. You must have booked it at the other location. So yeah, I um, went to the wrong place for my <laughs> glucose test. Yeah. And then that day, I just kept forgetting everything. I almost overboiled, well, I overboiled pasta, but I almost like made a huge burning mess and I forgot something at my mom's house. I mean, it was just a whole day of forgetting everything. <sighs> so pregnancy brain, it's for real and it's hitting me hard. Um, I've got to write everything down. I mean, like I've got to write down everything for this video because I always forget. I am also having very achy feet, um, swollen feet, not majorly swollen, but just everything is achy by the end of the day. Um, I notice that by the end of the day, like the bottom of my belly gets really tight. I don't know if I'm getting Braxton Hicks or if it's just him moving or just being tired and worn out. So I have to make sure that I rest really well at the end of the day, um, just so that, I mean, 
I'm good and pregnant now, third trimester, full force. Um, so I've just got to remember to take it easy, which is very hard when you have a very active toddler, but doing the best I can. I think that is everything that I need to update you guys on. Once again, if you have any questions, just leave them down below. Subscribe if you're new. Give me a big thumbs up and I will see you guys for my next bump date. Bye.